Hi, it's Misty. I'm checking back in with you guys. It's been a few days. Some good stuff going on. Um, just wanted to touch base and give you guys a few pointers on things that I followed just by research, researching and studying. Um, also, working with a coach and a therapist, things that have helped me. Um, the last week I've been, um, when I was in LA, I've been really working out, but also working out mentally as well. I always talk about or post about mental fitness and um, mental fitness, uh, mind and body connection. And I feel like these are so important. Uh, just when you're when you're going through things, you know, when you're in that dark, dark place, um, just even when you want to get to the next level. But these few pointers, they may seem simple, but they actually help you create some momentum to getting from where you are to where you want to be. Um, I just made a jotted a few notes to myself, but number one, I always talk about journaling. You know, I get up and I have these rituals, whereas I journal in the morning or I will write five things that I'm grateful for or I write five ideas down that could help me get closer to what I want to achieve. Um, journaling, number one is journaling. I have like four or five, but number one is journaling. When you write on a piece of paper, you are able to, it's like you're shifting energy from your brain to the paper. You know, you wake up and you have so much shit bottled up in your mind. But if you put it down on paper, you can journal your pain out just to get it out of your brain. And then after you're dumping with all of the negative that you need to dump out, maybe sit there for a minute and just pick anything that you feel good about and just write on it. You know, elaborate on it just a bit. So journaling has been proven to be to help with depression, to help with anxiety to help with just being so overwhelmed and some things the next number two is actually talking to someone but some things we don't want to talk to anyone about some things we just need to put on paper some things need to be between ourselves and one thing I can say is that when you do write down your words and your thoughts they haunt you if you say my goal is to do ABC or I'm feeling like this or I don't want to be doing, I want to be doing X, Y, Z by next year. When you write it down, there's something about writing it down that actually really kind of, it haunts you. And I think that's a good thing. And just start with 10 minutes a day. Get a really pretty journal or a cheap one, something to just start writing down and spilling and purging, if you will, um, your thoughts and your feelings. This is something I started doing. I've always done, but I got back to it faithfully after my sister died. I was in so much pain that I couldn't even articulate it. So I wrote about it. And some days you just need to, it may be just a few words. So just take the time to try and write down how you're feeling, whether it's pain, joy, gratitude, Give yourself 10 minutes a day. Create a ritual for yourself to do that daily. Number two, I say talk to someone. Talking to someone that can encourage you, make sure that they're positive, make sure that they are trying to be better in their lives and they're not miserable. As you know, that people say misery loves company, but talk to someone that will actually listen to you and encourage you in your dreams and your passions or anything that you desire to do or just listen just talk to someone this helps you transcend that that pain helps you transcend where you are where you're stuck i have not even a handful of people that i've been able to talk to but i also took it a step further by having a coach and having a therapist so i could strategize things for myself on another level and i'm a work in progress but these are proven things that have helped people. Journaling, talking to someone, exercising. You know, the last few months I was exercising sporadically. When I got to LA, I just forced myself to do it daily. Uh, I didn't exercise today. I did not exercise yesterday. Oh, I'm lying. I stretched yesterday. 
I've been doing kettlebells, so my body kind of feels like I've been hit by a bus. But the discipline of being consistent at least five days a week, I know it's going to pay off eventually. I've done this a million times and it shifts chemicals in your body when you are exercising. So you could feel like shit and then after you're done boxing or after I'm done hitting the heavy bag forever, I feel better. It's like a rush and all of those chemicals, maybe I'll talk about that one day because I'm obsessed with like oxytocin, the love, dr the love chemicals, the love all of the different neurotransmitters in the brain, I'm obsessed with that kind of stuff. And I know that it really does, when it shifts, we shift out of a place of being stuck. So number one, journaling. Number two, talking to someone, even if it's a, a best friend, but someone that's in your best interest. Or even if, even if it's me, I have had people reach out to me just by me sharing, I'm here. If I can be of service, I will. I am doing my best to be of service. If I don't know the answers, I will find the answers. So I'm open for that. Um, also resting. Sometimes you get overtired and I know that happens with me because I have insomnia or I did. I don't have it like I did before because I've been working out and, and just getting up early and doing that consistently daily. So that's helped me a lot. Um, communing with nature, going outside, you know, taking a walk. Like when I was back home in New York, I would go to the Jersey Shore. I love walking through the city when it was beautiful outside. Um, just something that kind of stimulates you. I took a ride on the bike when I was in LA just to kind of get the air or just sitting outside, you know, grabbing, just relaxing, grabbing a drink, coffee, tea, something, and just sitting out and just being still. Also, you know, when you are doing that, maybe music, maybe listening to some music or something um, shifts your energy. I know for me, it does shift my energy. Um, it Sometimes it sparks ideas in my mind. But bottom line is, and I say this, this is the last one that I just throw in there. Do something that you love to do. You know, do something that doesn't require, oh, I don't have the money to do this. Oh, I don't have. Do something you love to do. And think about it. If you don't know what you love to do, think about what you love to do as a kid. I'm a huge kid. I'm so fucking childish. I love to color. I love colors. I love color pencils. I like cartoons. I have actually started singing again um, by myself. <laughs> but it's fun. So these are things that I'm focusing on that bring me joy besides, you know, acting and sharing and trying to be of service and doing all this part, but think about these things. I will list them um, in the in the caption, The just the tips that I feel like can really help and have helped me create some momentum here with myself in getting on with my passions, pursuing my dreams, and also not betraying myself and not going against my integrity. And we can talk about that more but when you're doing something daily that's sucking the life out of you, that you don't enjoy doing, you are compromising yourself. And yes, we all have to do some things we don't want to do sometimes. But on the flip side, you need to be working on what you really, really love to do. Make that sacrifice. Everything that we want is on the other side of fear. And everything I'm doing right now, I'm scared shitless, but I'm doing it. So let's do it together. Let's try. Let's take 10 minutes a day. If you don't have 10 minutes a day, then you don't have a life. You don't care about having a better quality of life. And that's proven by so many people, by so many people of success and people that have mastered their minds. Let's try and master our mental and our physical and our mind, body, and soul. Let's try and master it together. So until next time, always believe in yourself and your dreams. Know that you are enough. Know that you are worthy. You are worthy of anything you could even possibly think of and know that your environment can also affect how you feel. So I love you. Love is my superpower. What's your superpower? Until next time.